So this year I'm finding myself battling the cucumber beetles again, the striped beetles. Yes, the bad ones. So in this video I'm going to show you some clips of some things I've been doing over the last, oh, at least a week and a half. <laughs> past we've never had them until last year I planted early I'm not sure if that's what it was but I tried to plant a little later this year and I guess it wasn't late enough anyways I've been battling them with some different organic methods I'm not sure if I'm winning or losing but I'll share with you what I've been doing gotta just squish them. So basically the diatomaceous earth is supposed to work but at this point I'm not seeing great results so I'm just going through and checking them as often as I can and picking them off. Just have to be quick because they fly away. So the problem with the striped cucumber beetle is that they will cause they can cause a the plants to wilt from the bite so it's not about how much of the plant they're eating one bite could be the bite that makes the plant die so i really got to find a solution i've never had them before last year as you can see yesterday we went through and we dyed tomaceous earth just sprinkled it all over the leaves as best we could and then on the ground obviously as soon as water gets on the leaves or on the ground then you have to redo it but i'm hoping if there's anybody who knows please leave it in the comments if there's something i can spray organically on the plants to kill them i picked up this organic insecticide it contains pyrethrins which is extracted from chrysanthemum flower the plant uses the pyrethrin to protect it against pests it attacks the insect's nervous system what I didn't know when I bought it was you have to spray it directly on the bugs until they are wet in order for it to work. Which is fine when we're talking about something like spider mites and aphids. They don't really move around much. So you just spray the plant and come back in 10 to 14 days later and spray it again. But it's a whole different story when it comes to cucumber beetles. They aren't exactly sitting around waiting to be sprayed. So we have to spot them and spray them till they're wet and hope they don't fly away in the meantime. So this has become my morning routine now. Along with watering, I have to come out here early in the morning before it gets too hot and check under all the leaves. Ah, there's one. So you're supposed to spray till they're wet. Oh, come here, little guy. I'm just curious to see how wet they have to be in order to die. He definitely doesn't look happy, does he? So it's supposed to kind of paralyze them, and then they die. Yeah, that was pretty quick. It looks like he's dying already. And... Yeah. I pronounce him dead. I'd say or so. Or very close. Or very close. Yep, that's quick. That's pretty good. But, you know, so it does work, and it and it and it, it's better because, like, when I was picking by hand, you had to... You had to get them and they try to fly away, whereas this, if you can spray them, um, they can't fly away because they're wet, right? And it paralyzes them. So it's it's better in that sense, but already I've... Uh, oh, there's two. Mating. We don't want those ones to get away. I don't know if you can see that. So they're supposed to be thoroughly wet. That's That's that pretty should good. work. I'm telling you they like the zucchinis. There's none almost on the cucumber plants. I'm sure to find them on the zucchinis. Get back here. So anyways, they were saying that um, baby Hubbard squash... Whoops! That one got away. Um, was a good trap crop for them. So 
I might try that next year, growing some baby Hubbard squash, and hopefully they'll go to that instead of my cucumbers. I also think I'll try going later in the year, planting later, and seeing if they are like potato bugs, where if you plant later, you don't get them. Seems to take quite a while, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if they're going to die. I'm going to put them in the bucket and see. So I would like to know if there's resistant cucumbers. Like maybe there's cucumbers where they won't get the wilt from them. Because really, like it's not that they're necessarily going to kill the plant from eating it. They're not that big that they eat that much. But the danger is that, you know, they can carry the wilt and then just one bite can kill the plant. So maybe there's some that are resistant to that. I really have to do more research. So if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments, you know, a few things like, uh, is there any methods that you've tried that worked? Any home do-it-yourself traps that worked? Um, see here, here was one that I sprayed the other day. And he's dead. Hmm. So it definitely works. But it's just a bit of a pain to have to come out here. I mean, and there's one on the up, upper side of the leaf. And, and inevitably you always miss some. Oh, that one got away too. Where'd he go? He's gone. These ones did not get away. So some of these were heavily sprayed, some I just lightly sprayed, and all of them are dead. So obviously the spray works, so for now that's what I'm going to use. For right now, the battle goes on, I guess, but I would like to know if there's better weapons out there. So leave your tried and true methods in the comments below. And as always, have a blessed day.